good morning. Leave me a comment if you can hear me so I know you guys are here. Welcome, happy Thursday. Okay, I think we are all set. Good morning to Peggy. It's good to see you. To see you, I guess, over you too. Welcome. I am Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com. Hey, Amanda and hey, Shannon. Welcome to Take 10. Hey, Christy. Welcome. Hi, Piper. And hi, Penny. I'm sure my other Penny, well, she's asleep. My Penny will probably not respond to that. Good morning, Carol. Welcome to Take 10. Take 10 is time that we dedicate on Thursdays. It's kind of a fun create date, if you will. And we kind of just play. We play with techniques. We play with different supplies. We take some time to get to know our supplies. And in that, it spurs creativity. It spurs on inspiration. And I truly, in my heart, believe that we are all creative in different ways and that it really just takes about 10 minutes to um, kind of get into that creativity. You don't have to dedicate hours, but it is really important to spend time getting creative every day. Hey, Andrea and hey, Anya. Nice to see you guys. Okay, so this is my Take 10 journal that I've been working through in the past year. And you can see the goal is not to come up with an ending project, like a final product, if you will. The goal is to just play and have fun and then take those techniques and use them in another way, another uh, medium, another project that you might be working on. I know for me personally, I am planning on filming an art journaling video right after this take 10. So I'm hoping that this kind of inspires me. Today we are talking about water soluble, I can barely say that, water reactive uh, crayons. And so I have two different kinds and I kind of thought we would play with them a little bit and see how they were different. So these right here are Neocolor 2 crayons. I pick mine up. You can pick them up on Amazon. You can buy them individually at Buy the Well for God. And then these are Dina Wakely Media Sticks, Scribble Sticks. So I've had these for a while. I've used them a few times and I thought that it would be fun to kind of experiment and see the difference. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes or else I could be here all day, I'm sure. So we're going to do that and uh, yeah, let's do it. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, I'm going to start with Neo Colors. These would be the ones that I use more often, I would say. So I'm going to start... I kind of was thinking florals. We are in full on spring around here, except that we had a crazy cold front come through. It felt like at my son's soccer games last night and not soccer game. It was baseball. I know my sports and it was really cold, but the florals are out in Virginia in full force. So this is the Neo color. And then I'm going to do a similar. Thanks, Shannon. Shannon sent us the cold. At least we didn't get snow, but I, I think in Pennsylvania, they did get snow. Now, right off, I will tell you that this feels more like a crayon. Crayon. Um, sorry, my Texas comes out when I'm writing, it doesn't go on quite as smooth as the Neo Color did. Of course, they're different colors and all of that. Oh, oh, oops. That's kind of a janky rose. Okay, so I have those two. The first thing I want to try is to just spray them. I'm just gonna use this Distress Sprayer. I'm gonna spray directly on top of them. <laughs> Once I open it, 
attached and we're just going to see what happens. So you can see right away, this one spread out super, super, super water reactive. This one is not having the same movement. So this one, I feel like you would need to use a brush to move it just a bit more. So let's try now that we've done that, let me come back and you can see as I go over these with the brush, it's now it's moving. I don't need any more water. I don't know why I got any in there. Yeah, now it's kind of moving and reacting. Now, if I go over to this one and start to move it, it's also moving with the brush. but it had that more immediate kind of reaction. Huh, okay, let's try something else. So I want to see how hard it is to break up the pigment. So I'm gonna take, this is my Dina Wakely. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna color in pretty, pretty hard. So coloring in, adding in that leaf, and then let me grab, let me see if I have a similar, I'm sure I do. This one is called Chinese green. Let's see how this one does. Not totally similar. That's yellow. Okay, but I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, I want to switch colors. Let's do this one. I'm going to do the same thing. Sorry, this is probably... And I'm going to put, I'm going to color in pretty hard. So what I want to see is when I add the water, can I break up all of the wax pretty easily? Or am I left with specks? Because sometimes on... Hello, hello in Germany. Sometimes when I am using things like this, it's hard to break up all of the little wax pieces and it ends up looking a little bit speckly. Okay, that one definitely broke up. All right, let's see. You guys can see this it's still a coarse drawing but this one pretty good what happened over here was I didn't get the same amount of coverage of course I am this is kind of media paper it's probably not meant to take quite this much water but an idea so let's put this here so it doesn't explode everywhere or run everywhere I'm gonna turn to a different page and we're gonna try another technique, which is something I really like with Neocolors, and that would be getting it wet. So this is the Dina Wakely. I'm just gonna get it wet, and we're going to draw with it wet. And that's interesting. So because it's so water reactive, you're seeing a line and wasn't quite as well. Let me go over it. It's reacting so fast. So you're seeing the line and that in there. That's interesting. And when I fill it in, it's going to be the darker color. Let me fill in. So I'm coloring. This is just coloring with, oh, oh no, oh no. You guys, I just dropped the whole, <laughs> I dropped the whole scribble stick into the water. <laughs> Look at my hand, you guys. Don't make fun when you see my art journal video next week and my hands are already purple. <laughs> We're a mess up in here. Oh, look at friends. Oh, never ever drop your whole scribble stick in the water. Wow. Okay, so that's the purple. <laughs> and now I'm going to react. So I feel like with the scribble sticks you retain more of the sketch lines, in my opinion. 
and you can see, I mean, this paper, again, not meant to take the water, so this is really just for experimenting purposes. Some of the speckles you're seeing is the paper breaking down just a little bit. Let's try. We'll go with purple since my hands are already purple. I mean, yesterday was purple day for the military, um, for military children. So there you go. Okay, this I'll hold tight. So this time I'm getting it wet. All right, same effect. But a little bit smoother. Like I said before, I feel like the Neo Color is just a little bit smoother. Taking my water now, tons of water. Okay, so you can see that while I still see the sketch lines, I don't think they're quite as harsh, you might say. So that's definitely a difference. All right, let me do, now I wanted to do a little bit of blending. Now I don't have, oh sorry, it went through. It shows you how much water. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do some, we'll color some pink. This is the scribble stick. We'll go into orange. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between them. And then we'll do yellow. And we'll try to echo that over here. I feel like I have some of my Neo colors pulled out for various reasons. So we'll start with a pink. And then we'll look for an orange. This is kind of a lighter orange, but that's okay. Orange. And then we'll go to yellow. Okay, so a little bit similar. Let's start with the scribble sticks. So I'm just coming over with water. Beautiful. This is really the beauty of these water soluble, soluble things. Sorry, hard for me to say, is the way that they blend. It's just so pretty. That was very, very nice. Okay, now let's go. That was not the right thing to do. Okay, let's react this. Let's be a little more patient on my part. There it goes. Spreading it out just a little bit. All right, so you can see both blended really nicely. And like I said, I feel like that is the piece de resistance. Like that is why you want to use this type of product. Um, I would say like, I love, I love Neo Colors, obviously. Um, this does come, the Dina Wakely Scribble Sticks do come in other colors, I believe. I think Neo Color has a wider variety of colors. Alexa, stop. I think the Neo Color has a wider, wider variety. They're going to have similar properties. They react slightly different. I find the Neo Color to just be smoother going on in the application process, which is probably why I like them a little bit more. I think you can get a different effect with the Dina Wakely ones, depending on what you're going for. So that's something to consider, but they're so fun to play with. And both of these are great options as we start to travel a little bit more. Um, if you want to bring something that is similar to watercolors on the go, it is awesome to just, you know, bring this and you have a ton. This is like, I don't know, probably 80, probably 80 Neo colors in here. So you would never be able to carry a watercolor palette with that much in it, um, in this size of container. So they are fabulous. You can use them in so many ways. Um, why would I use these instead of watercolor? I would use these to sketch first, Peggy. So if I am wanting to sketch like I did in the beginning, um, I would sketch with these harsher lines. So um, I know some people can 
paint straight with watercolor but if I'm wanting to sketch out the one what I'm doing first like with the florals then um, that's why I would use these I also use them when I stamp an image and I can color it in kind of old school um, wise and then I can come back and add in the water it smooths it out just a bit and that enables me to get a watercolor look with a different technique especially if I'm not feeling as comfortable with my ability to control watercolor which is you know part of the issue, part of the thing with watercolors is you can't control them and that is why they are so beautiful so something to consider another tool in your supply tool chest um, I am going to go try to wash my hands before I start filming again I hope you guys enjoyed this take 10 let me know below if you have tried either of these which one you like and for what reason I would love to hear from you um, if you're interested in trying them I have links below to each of these sets so you can check that out and a special shout out to all of my YouTube members. It's so awesome to see you guys highlighted in green. Thank you so much for your support. It really goes a long way to allowing me to continue to make content for this channel. I super appreciate it. Um, and that's it. I will see you all next Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.